Okay, Tov, today's staff is Afkuf Chaf Hey in Baba Basra. As we learn for Achenu Kol Beis Yisrael and Asun Basar Vashivya, and for the safe return of all the soldiers, all the terrible stories that we've been hearing, may everybody have a Rafu Shlema, and everybody who needs and such should have an Achama. So <clears throat> yesterday we learned that, uh, we've learned before many times that Bechor doesn't get a double share in Ra'ui, stuff that's not here right now, that's going to come later on, a later a later <clears throat> uh, inheritance that fell to, let's say, a man's father. The man's father died. Yaakov died and he left uh, Ruvain a Bechor and uh, Shimon, a, 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 brother, a regular brother of Pashud. <clears throat> so Bechor, they only gets a, Ruben only gets a double share on what's there at the time of death. If later on another Yerusha came down later on, we've learned many times that he doesn't get a double share in that. And the same thing we'll see that a husband does not get it. We had that back in Daf Kofi Kimmel a week and a half ago. A husband also does not get a double share. Remember, a husband inherits his wife before anybody else, before children. However, he doesn't get a double share. It's learned out of Psukim. He doesn't get a double share in what's not there at the time of death. What about a, a, a loan? What happens if um, a man died and he left money owed to him? So he said, when that money is paid, is that, does he get a double share in that? So we had really like a three-way machlokis yesterday. Rebbe said, Bechor gets a double share in there, not only in the loan, but even in the rebit. If it was, uh, if it was uh, by, by the guy, he gets that also. Then we had two opinions. Rabbi Yudah Mishmo says, no, Bechor does not get a double share in the loan. Why? Because the question is, is the loan there? After all, it's an outstanding loan. It's got an IOU. Yeah, but it's made just a piece of paper. The money that he's going to collect, they're going to collect a loan is not there yet. So like you could sell it. You could sell it, but it's not really money. You could always say, they, maybe the guy will never pay, right? Maybe you're not, maybe the the, lend, the borrower will never pay. We don't know. It's not really, he doesn't really have the money. That's the machlokas here. Rebbe says, yeah, it's like he collected it already. It's like he collected it. Rebbe says, yeah, you can even rebid. It's like he's collected already. That's Rebbe's opinion. Rebbe Shmuel says, no, it doesn't get a double share on that. And then we had like an in-between opinion of the Shulchan Itam from Eretz Yisrael that he gets a double share in the loan, but not in the rebid. So we had two opinions, basically, that he gets that the loan is considered extent at the time of death, even though he doesn't have it yet, hasn't been collected yet. And uh, we're opinion of Rabbi Shmuel that before does not get that. And we'll see that's the going to be the Pesach Kalacha, but we're still debating it. So yesterday at the end of the daf, we had uh, the story that uh, Rabbi Achabar Barav said to Rabina, a member went, came to our town, and he darshaned that before gets a double share in the loan, not in the rebit, like who, like the Shulchum Itam. So he answered him, Rabin answered him, oh, you know what? A maimer is in our dog, and our dog is going according to their reasoning that they say both uh, that Rava, and especially Rav Nachman, who's from that dog, said, if you collect money, then he gets a double share of that. The money's like it's here. Uh, if he collected karka, don't forget, a loan normally with a star, a star uh, ho is, uh, is backed up by a uh, piece of land, like what we call a mortgage today, right? Like a bank. What is it? It's backed up by the land. So if he collected the land, then Rav Nachman said he doesn't get a double share in that because the land, he never lent him the land or well, the money he did. So this is the question. Rabba says the other way. Rabba says if he collected karka, he does get a double share in that. Again, if the loan was collected in the form of karka that backed up the loan, gets a double share. If it was cash, not. Rav Nachman says the opposite. It was cash, yes, karka, not. So the Gemara, this is where we're up to yesterday at the bottom of Kuf Chav Dalam. It's Amalei Abay Rabba. I understand both of you, both of both of you, you you rabbis. There's a kasha in both of you. You both say, you both seem to be saying, yeah, that uh, you could collect the double share on the loan. The bechor gets a double share on the loan, but only one says if it was in cash. Rabbi says uh, if it was karka, you get it. If it was cash, not. Rabbi says if it was cash, yes, not karka. Well, I, he tells him, let the dach kash of nach kash, the kash on both of you. Let the dach kash at the top of kof chaf hei. Why? What's the difference? Maishna mo stalo. Why do you say, right? He said to Rabbi, why do you say, if you collected cash, then you don't get a double share? Why? Because this isn't the money the father left, right? What are you going to say that it's like it's collected already? I lent it, the father lent the guy $1,000. That money's gone. The borrower owes him thousand dollars but the money's not here how could you say that the children are so to speak in possession of their possession of the money like it's there already it's not there 
Why, why do you say why do you say mo money doesn't work? Because it's not the same money, right? Well, Karkanami Loha Karka Shavaduan, father didn't leave him over this karka. All he did was he lent money to some guy, Yanko, who promised to pay back a thousand dollars, and he backed it up with some karka. What's the difference if when the children eventually collect the loan, which they're entitled to collect, if they can collect, what's the difference if they collected cash or collected karka? Either way, it wasn't there at the time of death. But oh, and a second and another kasha, he asks him, or he asks Rabba. Or atu the amr, or the gear says hamaru the amr. You say mistaver time of the rabba on amid beis on today's daf. We're going to see a case, and he says the it's likely like the reasons of the meim rabba, meaning the people from Eretz Yisrael. That's the shalch mitam. The karim safta v'zavna zvina zina. You yourself say that what that if if it's if it was sold, we're going to talk about this case in a minute. If it was sold, this body it's it's considered a sale, meaning that he's not considered in possession of it. Unless, it, even if it's an outstanding, if something is outstanding, it's not considered in possession. You don't have it right now. Now, what's that case? I'm going to tell you the case now. Big Mar is going to come to it at the end. But why? Why is it necessary? Because to understand his point is this. There was a story like this. A man said, "A man said, let's call him Yanko." Yanko said, "Listen, I have, I have uh, some assets here. Let's see, a piece of karka. I'm giving it to my grandmother now. But after she dies, I want it to go to my own." To his own, to his, yeah, to uh, to uh, Yankel's own daughter, call her whatever. Go go goes to his own daughter. Okay, meaning to the great granddaughter of the grandmother, his grandmother. In other words, when she dies, I don't want it to go to her children, the grandmother's children. It could be his grandmother, his mother's mother, or his father's mother. It makes a difference. I don't want to go. I want it to go to his own children. Okay. Then what happened was this daughter of his. He says I wanted to go to his daughter. His daughter of his was married. Okay. She died, left a widower, a husband, and then the grandmother died. Who gets the Yerusha? Who gets the Yerusha? That was the case. So what happened was, of course, the husband came, the husband of the daughter says, he's Yarshan's his wife, right? Yarshan's his wife. And uh, they said, no, you know, he doesn't actually, he only meant to give it to his daughter, not to the daughter's husband. And since the daughter died, it should be the grandmother's Yorshim, who get it, her children, her ne her next of kin. That was the case there. So the <clears throat> Amara said, and Amit Beis, that they sh they sent from Eretz Yisrael, that's Shalchum Itam, that's the Meim Arava. They said, you know what? The halacha is that um, uh, that the uh, the husband doesn't get it. The husband doesn't get it. Why? So it's not clear why. The Gemara had one reason, maybe because he only said to his daughter. He didn't went to his daughter's heirs, meaning the husband. And another reason, but Shochmitam, they sent from Eretz Yisrael. We're going to see this case in a minute. And I'm at base. And Shochmitam, they said, no, that's the halacha, but not for his reasoning. The reason is, the reason is, is because while it was the grandmother's, listen carefully, he gave it to his grandma. He says, after she dies, I want it to go to his daughter. Right? Uh, that's, like that's like a will. It's like a will, like a will. But that was his instructions. The question is, what the, what is what is the meaning of those? In, uh, what is the meaning of that? And and I'll I'll give you an example since you you asked about the will. Let's say he says he wants it. Let's say the man said, you know, um, this is his land, and he wants to give it to his daughter. Let's say he doesn't have any sons. He can give it to his daughter. We'll see. He can give it to his daughter as a, as a Yerusha, but he's giving it to her right now. Not as a Yerush, he's giving to her right now. But he says, I want the grandmother to use it while the grandmother's alive. So when the grandmother dies, what would you say? It's certainly the daughter's, because he gave it to his daughter right now, right? However, that's not what he said. He didn't say, I'm giving it to my daughter right now, and but like, let, let grandma use it while she's alive. So I'm giving it to my grandmother, and after she dies, it goes there. So you know what? Let's say the grandmother sold the field, sold the asset. Is it a sale? So he says, yes, it's a sale. Therefore, what do you see? That the daughter is not considered a mukhzik in it, right? She doesn't have it. And therefore, the husband, the daughter who died, the husband can't say he can't get it. It's not it. It's not, it wasn't hers. The grandmother could sell it. So Rashbam says over here, and that's the same idea over here. Look at Rashbam in the second of the wide lines on, on Kuf Chafcham and Alab. Oh, money is, uh, Rav Nachman says that the, uh, kar, that the karka, well, this kasha is really on Rabba. I'm going ahead of myself. In, in this case, I'm, I'm sorry, three lines from the top of the page in Rajbam. The story with the mother, with the grandmother that I just told you. And then the whole story, yeah, Rajbam goes through the whole case there. 
in Thomas and Skin Bahaya Vare may say he bahaya skin, but in a bal not of Roy Mosik, Yamaraba, Mistaver time with Rebene Marava, then a bal Yorish to Havili Roy, Ben Mosik Labas, Shakos Mancha Skin Bahaya, in the Basel Chess Nevin, Shere Mokra, Skin and the Hosim Bahaya Bas, Mechiras Kayama, Hain Eluna Hosim Alova. Now, what is the comparison? So, just like we say there, the grandmother could sell it because I'm giving it to the grandmother right now. After she dies, it should go to his daughter, to the great granddaughter of the grandmother, right? Not to the grand, not to the grandmother's children or brothers or anybody else. She go to his to, to, to his own daughter, the man who gave it away, the great granddaughter of the of the uh, grandmother. And he says, um, and she she could sell it though right now, and therefore the same thing. Rashbam says, Cain Eluna Chasei Halova Now in our case here, where we say uh, a man died and he had an outstanding loan, and his children collect the loan. Does a bechor his bechor get a double share in that? Well. Why should he get a double share? If the Lova sold that property now and paid off with cash, would he say get a double share? Rabba said, oh, if you collect the karka, he gets a double share. Why? The Lova, the, the, you can't say that the karka is considered in the possession already of the deceased, of the deceased who left the Bechor and the other children. How can it be in such? The Lova could sell it right now. He could sell it right now and pay up the loan. How often is it that, that the bank takes your, your property back if you took a mortgage on them? Usually you pay it off the loan. Most cases, they pay off the loan and they pay off the mortgage and they keep the land. So the loba could also, he could keep the car, he could sell it to somebody else and pay off the loan. So the same thing, Rash Ram says, and they'll say, I love goes, he could, it's Roy, really, it's, it's possible that he'll collect it, but it's not in his hands right now. And if it's not in his hands right now, the poor doesn't get a double share. And therefore, therefore, that's that's a cash that he says. But oh, in, back in the Gemara, in the third line of the Gemara. I don't remember Mustafa time in the Bay Marava. What did the Bay Marava say in the Midbase? That in the case of the grandmother, um, that what that the the um, the granddaughter does not get it after she remember the granddaughter died the great granddaughter died before the grandmother died right man man, man said I'm giving it to my grandmother and after she dies he wants it to go to his daughter his daughter was married then his daughter died and now her husband the widower is coming to claim it he says yeah but it wasn't in his possession what that what that they're, they're saying that the husband does not get it why? Because it wasn't considered in the possession of the daughter, of the granddaughter. The karm safta was often saying it's a good sale. She doesn't, there's no, there's, there, it, it, it's not like the case where he says, I'm giving it to my daughter right now, but let grandma use it. That's different. He didn't give it to her. He said, I'm giving it to my grandmother now. And after she dies, he wanted to go to his daughter. That, does, that, that doesn't work over here. Uh, and it, it, it doesn't work. The husband does not inherit her because he wasn't in possession of it. At the time that his wife died, he wasn't in possession. Just like a, just like a before he doesn't get a double share, a husband doesn't get a double share if it's not there at the time of death. He, get he, he doesn't get any, he won't get anything over here. Correct. In this case, he won't get anything. So, and then he says, the Gemara goes on in the fifth line on Kuf Chef Hamad Alf, the Gemara, Rav Nachman also kasha. Rav Nachman said what? That if you paid with cash, then he gets a double share in there. What's the difference? Maishter karka delo. Why he doesn't get a double share? Delaf in the case of the loan. Delaf hai karka shava kavu. And this is not the land that the father didn't didn't sell, didn't get, leave them. The father didn't leave them this karka. It was just mortgage. It was a piece of land that was mortgaged by the borrower to the lender. Most nami laf and most shava This isn't the money that he lent over. But oh, Amr of Nachman. Nachman said, listen to this. Amr of Abu. He says, you some should go for karka b'chos. And let's say. Yisomim collected karka. Let's say, meaning what? The father died, left outstanding loans, money was owed him, and he also had outstanding debts. Now, outstanding debts backed up by karka, not necessarily the same piece of karka. Let's say they collected a piece of karka. Baal chov, chov's of a govim hand, he can go take it away from them. He can go take it away from them. Now, listen carefully. If a man dies and left all kinds of debts, and his children went into business, they made their own money. Can you go after the children's money to collect the father's debts? No, you can only go after karka that the father had. Had right, right. So over here, he says, "What do you mean? You say that karka is not considered uh, there at the time of death? Just the opposite." I'm karka. can go back and collect them after you some collected outstanding debts. The the uh, the the uh, the the the, the, the uh, father's creditors can go take that karka from them. You know why? Because it's considered like he had it already. It's considered like he had it. So here you see, this is the, this is the second of the wide lines in Rashbam. Rashbam. 
because you understand what I'm saying? That the if the father left outstanding debts and he also had outstanding loans that he lent out people and the kids collected the money that it was loaned, the Balchov can go take that money to the debt. Why? Because it's considered like it's collected already. Their own money you can't go after. You can't get over your children. Man died and left all kinds of debts. And the sons had their own money. You can't go after the son's money. You can go only, only after debts that he had. Now, how can you go after the debts that he had? You go after the debts that it's considered like it's collected. So just the opposite. It's more likely to say that Kark is considered collected already more than money. Is it? Well, when somebody died, children have their own money. Can't go of course not. Of course not. Now, I'm not saying that's the common law here in Israel. I've heard stories about, you know, people who were put in the nursing homes, uh, God forbid, and, and uh, the government made the children pay for it and all kinds of stuff. I don't know what the current laws are about that. But of course not. How can you how can you force the children to pay the father's loan? That's his debt. Everybody has their own money. What if, if it was if the children had the father's money, they inherited the father's money and they can prove that it's their money, those assets. Yeah, you can go and collect it. But if they had their own money, what what uh, they, you can't can't go after them. Can't go after that. Why should why should a man be responsible for his father's debts? He might want to do pay it off to clear his father's name, you know, so to speak, that a man should not be be left, you know, for the family, you know, for the family good name, uh, there might be a good reason. You know, to pay it off, and they may want to pay it off, and they may have fights in the family to pay it off or not pay it off. But, uh, but legally, how can you hold a responsible? Uh, you know, even a brother or whatever. Why can you? Why, if one man has debts, why should the other man have to pay him? You know, saying it's not, it's not like you know, not like that. Maybe a father is responsible for his children's damages and things like that because it's his responsibility. But they had a case now in America that they wanted, they prosecuted the parents for a child shooting somebody because uh, they weren't careful with the gun or something of that sort. They got a lot of guns there, you know. <laughs> more than one per citizen, I understand. More In any guns, case, huh? More, more, more guns than people, yeah. Anyway, so what do you see over here? Even according to Nachman, Karka should be better than money. Omerle, so so again, back to the Kasha that Abayah said to Rabbah, I don't understand you guys. You, Rabbah, and Rav Nachman, you both say that the Bahor can collect a double share in an outstanding loan. The father died, left an outstanding loan. Except you say, if it's karka, you get a double share. If it's in cash, not. But Nachman says cash is better. But he, he, you know, uh, why should one be different? Omer Lay, so listen to this. Rabba answered Abaya, lowly di kasha, below Rav Nachman kasha. It's not a kasha anymore. Why? Time of the B'nai Marabba coming in, below the alone. We're just explaining the reasons of the B'nai Marabba, meaning the B'nai Marabba and Ahmed Bey's yesterday's staff, we said, Shoch Mitam, that before gets a double share in the loan, but not in the Rebbe. Remember, Rebbe said even in the Rebbe. Shoch Mitam said, Rebbe Rebbe Shmuel said, no, doesn't get a double share in the loan at all. The loan is considered not extent at the time of death. We're explaining the Shoch Mitam. What's their reason? They say you collect, you can get a double share in the loan, not in the, not in the, um, in, in the uh, Rebbe. We're explaining them, but we don't hold to that anyway. We hold like Rebbe Rebbe Shmuel that a double, doesn't get a double share in, in, the, in the loan at all. He said, we're just giving his reason. He says, Gosh, the time of the man Rabbah coming in, but on the sphere line. My Sapta, what's the story with the grandmother? The last line on the page in the Gemara. Here's the story. There's, we already told you the story. Uh, he said, I'm giving my assets, whatever it was. I had some uh, property to grandmother. Afterwards, to my heir. My heir, my daughter. So he had, or my, whoever his heir was, he had a daughter. He had one daughter. Man dies. Who does he wish to go to? His skin. He doesn't know son. No, his skin. Whoever, whoever his children are, kin like who kin his kinder, right? He goes and maybe that's where kin comes from. Kinder, I guess. I, I thought about it. So anyway, he goes to his son. No sons. Goes to his daughter. Okay, having uh, a She was married. Shiva b'chay bala. Now the daughter, like we said, died while her husband was alive. Uvechay safta while the grandmother was alive. Basar shivas after the grandmother died. Osabal katava. Oh, the husband, the widower, woke up and said, "Hey." You know what? My father-in-law said, his father-in-law said, you know, after the grandmother goes to the daughter. Well, I inherit the daughter, right? Now, we know ain't a ball, the ball does not get a double share. Doesn't get, it doesn't get anything, right? Uh, uh, it, well, that, that's not quite, 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 quite true. A husband inherits, uh, a husband doesn't get a double share. He gets everything, but he only gets what's there at the time of death. So what's so a ball katapa. Now we have machlokas, what the halach is in that case. Listen to carefully. Um, Rav Huna on the fourth line, when a man said, I'm giving it to my heir, 
means to my heir. And if, if they're not around, to the heir's heir. Who would be the heir's heir in this case? The husband, because she, the wife died. Even if she had children, it goes to the husband. So therefore, Ravuna said it goes to the husband. I said to my heir, not to the heir of my heir. That was my instructions. Remember, you know, this isn't the regular case of Yerusha where Greg, he said yesterday automatically goes at the time of death to the children. Here he made this special deal and said, giving to this person, meanwhile, and then after that person dies, I'm giving it to that person. In other words, I'm, so to speak, only giving it to that person on the condition that they could use it while they're alive. However, we said if the grandmother sold it, it's a sale because it's really hers. Except after she dies, he can make this condition. So he says, I'm giving it. So Ravan An said, I'm giving it to my heir, but not to my heirs. If the husband doesn't get it. So he had a machlokas here. Shochumitam, they sent Merit to Israel. Hilchasakav, I said, like Ravanan. The husband does not get it. But not because of Ravanan's reason. Ravan said, I'm giving it to my heir. I said, my heir. The husband said, I'm giving it to my grandmother. And after it's to my heir. Ravanan and, and Ravanan said, you know what he said? My heir and not my heir's heir. So therefore, the husband doesn't get it. That's not the reason. That's not the reason why. The husband doesn't get it. But allow me to make, but not for his reason. The Ravanan Ravanan Let's say that daughter, say the husband doesn't get it, right? Because it's Aina Bal Yorish, something that's not there at the time of death, right? What about, let's say the daughter died, but she left the son. If the son, if, the, if that daughter who had died prior to her husband and prior to the grandmother and all that, would her, would her son get it? Uh, according to Ravanan, the son wouldn't get it because I'm giving it to my heir, not to my heir's heir. That would be the son. The son is Vade Yoresh. The son gets the Yoresh even if it's stuff coming in later on, even if it, even if it was there at the time of death. According to Ravanan, he says even a son of that daughter wouldn't get Lo Yoresh. Below, it's not the case. If she would have had a son, if the daughter would have had a son, Vade Yoresh, he would certainly get it. Right? Why? Because the son gets something even though it's not there at the time of death. If a man, if a woman dies or a man dies, and he, uh, he, he uh, Yerusha came later on from some great uncle or something showed up, his children would get it. A Bechor doesn't get a double share in there, right? And a husband doesn't get it, but his children would. So Ravanan is wrong. Ravanan said, I'm giving it to my heir, not to my heirs. So the husband doesn't get it. But if, if there would be a child of, of the daughter who died, there would he would get it. But Ubal, so, so he says he's wrong about that. In other words, it's true the Baal doesn't get it, but a grandchild would get it. The reason is, is very simple, because it's not there at the time of death. When his wife died, she didn't have it. It's only, it's only potential that it's going to happen. That's called Roy. Oh, wait a minute. What about Rafuna? We said on the fourth line here, Rafuna says, no, that the husband does get it. So why would so Rafuna would say, does Rafuna hold? Why would the husband get it? He, it's, it's Roy, right? Amr of Lazar. Dover, listen to this, listen to this, Anivis. I'm Rabbi Lazar. Dover is a niftach begom. This thing started with a great rabbi, Rafuna. He called Rafuna a gadol. Then it's time to It's going to end with the ketana, meaning me. I'm going to explain him. Kala Omer Acharecha, Kala Omer Me'achshav Dami. Rafuna holds that when he said, I'm giving it to my grandmother and then afterwards to my daughter, that's as if he's saying, I'm giving it to my daughter from right now, but my, my grandmother has usage of it. Therefore, therefore, the daughter really owned it. His daughter owned it right from the beginning. I'm giving it to my grandmother for use now. And after it's my daughter, when he says, Acharecha, Rafuna holds, that means, that's if he said, remember I said at the beginning, if a man clearly said, I'm giving it to my daughter, but I want grandma to use it while she's alive, right? He would, that, that would be okay. Then it's certainly the daughters. Here is also, Rafuna held that he said, Kala Acharecha, come Sir Rafuna holds, Eina Bechor, no tell, Babroi Kamusik. And a, and a husband does also not get baroi kuma muhsik, right? If if it's if it's muhsik, he gets everything, but he doesn't get what's roi. This is roi, right? So why does why does a husband get it over here? It's not there. The answer is he says, when a man says, I'm giving it to my grandmother, and then after she dies to my daughter, what he's really saying is, I'm giving it to my daughter right now. Except we'll let ma we'll let grandma use it meanwhile. That's what's called Omar Akharecha, come my Pardon? So she couldn't sell it. So, so she couldn't sell it. According to him, she couldn't sell it. Exactly, she couldn't sell it. Whereas, whereas Rabba and Rab Nachman said, I hold like 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 the Shalchem Atam, like the people from Eretz Yisrael who said that the reason why uh, the reason why the husband get it doesn't get it now is because the grandmother could sell it, and therefore it's the Roy. It's not really his. 
And if the grandmother, and if the, uh, after the grandmother died, there was a, let's call it a great, great grandson, right? There was a great grandson that the grand, great granddaughter who died left the son, the son would talk to get it. Why? Because according to that, not like Ravuna, Ravuna says, if you said, Acharecha, it's like you said, I'm giving it to the daughter right now. But he didn't say that. He didn't say, he just said, Acharecha. That's the machlokas we're going to have later on. Ravuna holds that, but we hold no. When a man says, I'm giving it to the grand, to this person, and afterwards to this person, meanwhile, the first person could sell it, could sell it. And therefore, it shows that the second person doesn't have it yet. The, the granddaughter, great granddaughter, did not really own it yet. After the grandmother died, she would get it. Fine. So she would get it, it would fall to her. And if she had a son, it would go to him. But if she had, a, but her husband does not inherit it because he doesn't inherit what's not there at the time of death. Correct. In a way, it's like a trustee, but afterwards it's going to go there. So call Omar that's Rafunashita, Omar Rabba. So now we have, we have the, uh, Rabba gives a Mistabra, time of the Bnei Marava. Now, this is where Rabba said, this will be quoted Raman Aleph. Rabba said, Mistabra, time of the Bnei Marava. I agree with people, Rabba. In other words, I go along with what 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 Rebbe Marava said that the husband does not get it because the grandmother could, if she wanted to, she could sell it, and therefore it proves that the grand the great granddaughter did not really own it uh, while the grandmother had usage of it. The grandmother owned it effectively, and afterwards would go down to to uh, what he said would go down to his uh, heirs, the man who gave it away, his heirs, his daughter in this case, or if she wasn't alive, would go down to the Great grand, great grandchildren, whoever whoever the, her, the heirs were, so it's not because of that at all. So Rafuna, we don't go like Rafuna that says that the husband gets it. Rafuna holds it as if the the granddaughter owned it all along, but just grandmother had usage. And Ravanan said, no, he only said to my heir and not to my heirs' heir. And therefore, the husband doesn't get it. But that's not true. The husband doesn't get it not because she didn't say heirs. The husband doesn't get it because it's Roy. The grandmother could sell it, and that's what this is what Rav, this is what he claimed when he said. But uh, you said Mustafa Tamid Bay Marova, he comes up to see Messina, and therefore, therefore we use the Sfar Amr Alf that the grandmother could sell, which means also comparing it to the case of the Lova, where a man died and left outstanding loans, which his kids collected. And the question is, does the Bahor get a double share in that? He doesn't get a double share. It's not there because why? The Karka? Uh, the Karka is that's that's simply mortgage property, but the Lova could pay off the loan and not give away the, the karka. So you see the same idea, just like the grandmother could sell it. And that shows that the granddaughter does not own it at this point. Now the Gemara uh, gives a synopsis, Amra Papa, Hilchasa ain't about no to break music. That we already passed in way. Why? Because it's a, it's a, it's a gift. Lust of a Pishnaim is a gift. And gift you only be if you have it. So Hilchasa ain't about no to break a music. As it says, Bechol HaShayi Matzai Lo. He only gets a double share once there at the time of death. Therefore, the Bechor doesn't get it. Therefore, no, I'm sorry. I, I skipped one. Ain't a Baal not break a We have back on Kofi Gimel, based on the Psukim with Pinchas, etc., that a husband doesn't get a double share, doesn't get it at all. He doesn't He doesn't get a huge, even though the husband's first in line, the husband's first in line before children to get a Yerush of his wife, but he only gets it once there at the time of death, not what happened later on. Ain't a Bechor not the break And again, that we've had many times, the Bechor doesn't get a double share because it says, Bechor Hashem Matzalo. Ah, this is the final halacha. We pass it now like a beautiful mishmul. The Bechor does not get a double share in a loan. We don't care. But in other words, when Rabba and when Rabba and Ramnachim were saying, well, one said he gets karka, he gets a double share, cash not. Ramnachim said cash, yes, karka now. Does that make any sense? They're simply explaining the Shalchum Itam. They say that's their sparas in Shalchum Itam, but they don't really hold to that. Because Shalchum Itam said, you can collect the, the, the Bechor gets a double share in the loan, not in the rebid. So we're explaining them, but we don't hold that way anyway. We only doesn't get a double share at all. Now, here he says this one. This is a tough one. What happens if the father had lent money to the Bechor? The father had lent money to the Bechor. You know, he said, Pop, you ever see these kids who come along and say, I've, I've heard it's terrible. <laughs> kids come and tell the father, you know, uh, we need the money now. Can, we don't want to wait till after you're gone. Can you give us our Yerusha now? I, I can't believe it. But, you know, people have this kind of chutzpah. So here, the, the father had lent money to the Bechor. I'm the Bechor, right? Lend me money. And now the father died. So probably over here, so what's the question you say over here, that he gets a double share in that or not? When the father died, that, that loan, which he has to pay back, he has to pay back that. Okay, well, he got a double share of that money. Right? So he's not sure about that. He says, and my wife, 
because he's not sure because it's mum and about the stuff. Like, why? Then you do we hush? Is it considered like the father has the money in now? Because the whore would like to be the whore. Your father gave money. I'll, I'll, I'll mortgage my house to you, pop, and all that. So it's like the father really has it. He's a muhsig in it. Or I, 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 I'm giving it to him. Or do you say no? He's not muhsig in it because the fact is it's a loan. Because since we're saying now that a lo- an outstanding loan is not considered in the hands of the deceased when the deceased dies, not considered his. So it's not. Therefore, he's not sure what the halach is. And therefore, they should split the double share. The extra double share, they split it. In other words, he splits that. He takes half, and the other Yorshim, the other brothers, get the other half, Mavashim Apalge, because he goes with the idea that we're from Paskin like that also. I don't know if we Paskin that way, but maybe the, maybe we also Paskin that Mamun Amotla Salkin when there's nobody is a Muxik. We're not sure. So he says, Mavashim Apalge, you split it. He splits that with Yorshim. Now, we said over here, you don't collect a loan. What about, we, if somebody brought up yesterday, you brought up yesterday, what about a share, a stock share? So I would say that in a stock share, Moshe, Moshe Smith sent me yesterday this this uh, writing from the uh, from uh, from the um, Chavrusa or wherever it was from the from the, as far as what about money in a bank? What about money you have in a bank? Is that considered mochzik or not? It's not. You're not going to get back the same cash. In fact, they don't even have cash anymore. <laughs> we have wires, right? They, it's all electronic. There is no money, so you're not really a mochzik in that. And therefore. Before we're not going to double share in what's in the bank, it's not considered. You can argue and say, you know, uh, what about if there's a heteriska? If it's a heteriska, it's really not a full loan. Part of it is a picadon and as such, but still, that's not, doesn't really work the way. And he says over here, then a chanami, you're not considered mostly that. It's opposed to, I think, to a stock share. A stock share really means that you own your partner in the company. You own this. This is, it's, it's yours. You're a, you're a shut If I'm a shut in a house with a thousand other people. We all own this building together. Oh, I, I have a share. These bricks are mine. This part is mine. Part of it's mine. So that's there at the time of death. But an outstanding loan is not. It's not considered there. And therefore, a before wouldn't get a double share in that. The husband wouldn't get the money in the bank. It's not there, right? It's not there. Now, Rajbam points out that there's still a difference between them. In other words, in the case of the before not getting a double share is a matana. So we said even things that See, a husband gets everything of his wife that his wife died. So Rajbam says over here about 10 lines uh, from the bottom of the page. Um, what is it? Oh, so he says like this. So, so if a man dies, compared we said before, let's say you had some things starting to grow and then it grew into a full grown grain or plant or, or whatever. So we said there, uh, that's that's the the husband, the Bahor doesn't get a double share in that because it only grew later on. But a husband might might get might be able to be that because he owned the basic idea. That's when the man, when the wife died and left things growing, he got that. So if it grows later on, that's he but he got that original thing. So therefore the husband might have a stronger case than we claim in the case of oh the feel before Kai Gafna Delek Yoroshak or Elohu, Yorosh Konosyova, Hakobarum Shiashako. Let's say there's only a before, nobody else. He obviously gets that enough. He's Shah Roy, Daki Ashbak Bushusi, it's it's his already. So, so there is slight differences, but the basic idea is that a Baal does not get uh, Roy Kabamuchzik. If it's not there at the time of death, it came in later on, like the case of the grandmother, he wouldn't get it. And a Bukhar also does not get the Roy Kabamuchzik. All right, we'll pick it up here tomorrow, Mr. Amrapun, at the top of Kuf Chav Bunch of Baba Mises. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Baba Mises. Of course, of course. You have to have the will. It's amazing how many lawyers and people who should know better died without wills. Yeah. It's not just that. It, it's a, the common law. It's in Israel and I think in certain states in the United States and throughout Europe that if a man dies, you know, normally the way we write wills, you know, most of us Americans, this is that whichever spouse dies first, the other spouse gets everything until such time that the other spouse passes on. But this, the law here is that uh, if there is no will, uh, the spouse gets half and all the other children, let's say the other heirs, get the other half. So it comes a big issue. We had, there was an issue here in this neighborhood where died and the children didn't want to uh, give up their share of the house and the spouse wanted to move away. She couldn't sell the house. She had a fight with the children. So it's good to have a will. It's amazing how many, uh, I don't want to mention names, but people in this community who died without a will, it's a tough thing.